Hi there boys and girls. Welcome to lesson 13.2. This lesson is all about area. Our essential question for today is going to be how can you use a formula to find the area of a shape? Go ahead and get out your Go math book and turn to page 249. Okay, so now we're going to look at a formula. Sometimes whenever you're asked to find the area of a shape, you're really lucky and you get to have squares inside the shape where you can just count them up to find the area. But other times you need to use a formula. This is going to be our formula. And our formula is going to be area equals base times height. Now your base is what your shape is going to lay on. And then your height will just be the height of your rectangle. Okay, so now let's look at our workbook on page 249 and we'll do some problems together. Okay, boys and girls, so for number one, it's actually already co completed for you in the workbook. But I'm going to work it out with you guys so I can show you why they got their answer. Now, your formula is already there and that's going to be A for your area equals B, which stands for your base, times H, which stands for your height. Now, if you look at the rectangle, you see 12 feet on the top and 9 feet on the side. Now, you might be thinking, why is 12 feet on the top instead of on the bottom? Well, we know that a rectangle has the same sides for the top and the bottom, so you would just have 12 feet down at the bottom, and you would also have 9 feet over on this side. Okay? So now let's go ahead and work it out. All you need to do is plug in your numbers into your formula. So your base would be 12, your height would be 9, and 12 times 9 would give you 108. And don't forget that it's 108 square feet. Okay, so for number two, this is actually a square, but we all know that a square is in the rectangle family. So, you would still do your formula, which is area equals base times height. And our base and our height, because it's a square, is going to be the exact same. So you would do 8 times 8 equals 64. Now don't forget that it's 64 square yards and here's why. Okay, so here's why. Remember with area we're trying to find how many square units can fit into our shape. So if you look right here you have eight rows up and eight rows across which would equal 64 squares inside of our rectangle. Okay, so now that you have your formula, I want you to go ahead and work this problem out on your own. So you're going to pause the video and you're going to work with your formula, which is area equals base times height. So go ahead and pause the video and work this problem out. And press play when you're ready. Okay, so did you do 15 times 3 equals 45 squared meters? If you did, you got it right. Now don't forget to tell me square meters because we want to know what unit of measurement we're talking about. Okay, so you know the formula. It's going to be 13 times 6, your base times your height. So go ahead, pause the video, and work this one out on your own. Go ahead, start the video when you're ready. Okay, so you should have done 13 times 6 equals 78 squared inches. Now I hope that you put in your squared inches. And right up here in the blue, we have all of our work showing. Okay, so I really hope that you showed your work and regrouped for this one and that you didn't just guess. So you should have gotten 3 times 6 is 18. You should have carried your 1 and did 6 times 1 would have given you 6 plus your 1 would have given you 7, so it would have been 78. Okay, so here's another rectangle and you have your formula, so go ahead and pause the video and work this one out in your workbook. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and press start. 
Okay, so this is what you should have done. You should have done 30 times 5 equals 150 squared centimeters. Because 3 times 5 is 15, and then you bring down your 0 to give you 150. If you got that, awesome job. Okay, so you should be feeling very confident with working with the formula area equals base times height. So go ahead, pause your video, work on number six, and we'll check it together in a few moments. Okay, so you should have done 14 times four gives you 56 squared feet. Now remember, don't forget to tell us what unit of measurement you're working with. Over here in the red, you can see that I did all of my work, so I hope you guys showed your work for this problem because you had to regroup. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our problem solving. For this one it says, Megan is putting wallpaper on a wall that measures eight feet by 12 feet. How much wallpaper does Megan need to cover the wall? Okay. In this word problem, I see a clue word that helps me to figure out that I'm looking for area. All right, this word right here, cover, go ahead and put a box around cover because that's our clue word that we're gonna be looking for area and not perimeter. Now go ahead and pause the video and work this problem out on your own. It might help to go ahead and draw a rectangle. That's a great way to go ahead and show your work. Okay, boys and girls, so you should have done 8 times 12 equals 96 square feet. Now, as you can see, over here on the side in black, I have my work worked out because you had to regroup again. So you should have done 8 times 2 gives you 16. Carry your 1. 8 times 1 will give you 8, plus 1 more will give you 9 tenths. Okay, boys and girls. So for number eight, I want to make sure that you guys are watching the video completely and all the way through. So right above the number eight, I want you to go ahead and draw a heart right above the number eight. Okay. And then I want you to draw a star right inside your heart, just like that. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at our problem. It says, Bryson is laying down sod in his yard to grow a new lawn. Each piece of sod is one foot by one foot square. How many pieces of sod will Bryson need to cover his yard if his yard measures 30 feet by 14 feet? Now again, I see a key word in this one. So let's go ahead and put another square around it because that tells us that we're looking for the area. So go ahead and pause the video and work this problem out by using your formula. All right, boys and girls. So this is how you should have worked this problem out. You should have done 30 times 14 gives you 420 pieces. Now, it tells you that each piece is one foot by one foot squared. But if you look right here, it's asking for each piece, okay? And it's asking for how many pieces of sod will Bryson need. But they tell you that each piece is going to be one foot squared. So that's the same thing as saying 420 squared feet. Now don't forget that over here on the side, I showed you my work and hopefully you have that written down as well. Okay, boys and girls, so these are your two homework questions, and I want you to go ahead and work these out. Um, also, you should be doing questions three, four, five, and six on page 250. Now, number six is from the chapter that we haven't covered yet, but if you draw a model, you should be able to figure it out. Okay, and don't forget to rate yourself if you're a one, two, three, or four after watching this video on area. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. See you in class tomorrow.